excited that it's finally here and that this week you guys will be seeing not one not two not three but seven videos for me so I'm gonna be uploading a video every day this week and they are all themed about one of my favorite things ever which is slime I'm so excited oh my gosh you guys have no idea what I have in store for you this week oh my gosh I just uh, realized something my top is meant to say tutti fruity because there's like little pictures of fruit all over it and I just realized that it says tutti fruity. They forgot to cross the T's on fruity. You know what? I was so excited to wear this top that we're just going to ignore it. I'm going to keep wearing it. It's now tutti fruity. Now you do not want to miss any of this week's videos so if you haven't already subscribed just go ahead and click the red subscribe button and then go ahead and click the bell icon and turn on all notifications and then you, yes you, will be the very first person to know when I upload. So it definitely is time that we jump right into slime week. It is day one. I am psyched. I am pumped up. I hope you guys are too and let's jump into it. The slimes that we're going to be creating today are all inspired by food, starting off with a cupcake inspired slime. So to a bowl, add some school glue and then add some shaving foam and foaming hand wash. And this is going to give us a really nice, light, fluffy base and then mix it all together. Next, it's time to color our slime and I wanted my slime to be a nice, bright pink. So I put some pink food coloring in and then mixed it together and then I added some cupcake scent because it is a cupcake inspired slime and then it's just time to activate the slime and the activator that I use is half a teaspoon of borax mixed with one cup of water so go ahead and activate your slime So just set aside that slime and now we're going to be creating a frosting slime. This is going to go on top of our cupcake because a no cupcake is complete without some frosting. So just add some glue and shaving foam to a bowl and mix it together and then you can go ahead and scent it and I scented mine vanilla because I wanted it to be a vanilla frosting. And then you can just go ahead and activate it and then to make this a little bit thicker I decided to add some Daiso soft clay and this just makes it a really nice butter slime. So I just mix this in. So now that we have all our slimes ready, it's time to build our cupcake slime. So I started off by placing some of the pink slime in the bottom as the cupcake base and then added some frosting and of course some sprinkles and then you have this adorable cupcake slime and I loved this slime so much. When you mixed both the slimes together, it gave it such a creamy and awesome texture and the two scents were mixed. Oh my gosh, it smelled dreamy. I loved this slime. It was great for poking and it was just so much fun. Next we have a Frappuccino inspired slime and this one turned out so cute. So the first thing we're going to do is add some school glue to a bowl. Now I was going to originally make my Frappuccino just a normal coffee color but I decided to make mine blue and I'm so happy that I did. So I just tinted my slime blue and then added some bubblegum scent and then just a few pumps of lotion and some baby oil so that we have a super glossy clicky base for this Frappuccino slime. And then just go ahead and activate it and mix it all together. Now 
Now frappuccinos are usually topped with whipped cream, so to give this slime that look, I just took some of the leftover frosting slime that we made for the cupcake slime, and I just added some instant snow and mixed this in until it gave it a really nice cloud cream texture. Now people always say that I need to activate the snow before I add it, but doing this gives it a totally different effect. I didn't want this to be a cloud slime, I definitely wanted it to be more cloud cream, so that's why I add the instant snow without activating. And now that we have both our slimes ready, it's time to assemble our frappuccino slime. So I just started by adding some of the blue slime and then some of that cloud cream slime that we just made. And then I just added a little straw to give it that proper Starbucks frappuccino look and then topped it off with some super colorful clay sprinkles. And then you have this adorable frappuccino inspired slime and I thought this turned out so cute and I loved the texture of the slime once they were mixed together. Because we mixed a cloud cream with a glossy slime it made a really really soft cloud cream which I loved it had amazing drizzle look at that drizzle oh my gosh it looks so good and I just had so much fun playing with this slime it was such a nice texture probably one of my new favorites So I saved my favorite slime for last and it is a peanut butter and jelly inspired slime and I've been wanting to make this slime for so long and I'm so happy that I finally did. So I just added some school glue and shaving foam to a bowl and mixed it together and then it's time to color this slime like peanut butter so I added some brown food coloring and I think also some yellow until I got that perfect peanut butter color. Then I just scented it so it would smell very lovely and next it's time to activate the slime so just go ahead and add your activator and now because this is going to be a peanut butter slime we need to have a butter texture so I added a packet of soft Daiso clay and just mix this in and this seriously looks so much like peanut butter I was so happy with how it turned out So now that we have the peanut butter slime, it's time to make the jelly slime. So just adding some clear glue to a bowl and then I scented this one like pomegranate and it smelled amazing and fruity and fresh and then I mixed it all together. Now I wanted this slime to be a bit more opaque so I just added a few pumps of lotion and mixed this together. And as you can see, it's turned a little bit white, which is perfect, that's exactly what I wanted. Then I just added some purple to get that perfect jelly color when you have peanut butter and jelly. So I mixed this all together Together and then activated it and now we have our jelly part of the peanut butter and jelly slime and this slime on its own is just so much fun I loved the pomegranate scent I didn't know how I was gonna feel about it but I'm obsessed with it So now it's time to combine our two slimes to make peanut butter and jelly slime. So I just layered them and then placed this adorable little peanut butter and jelly slime charm on top, which I've been wanting to use for so long and it looked so cute sitting on top of this slime. This slime is so adorable. I was a bit worried that when the two slimes mixed together, it would go an icky color, but it totally didn't. And I had so much fun at playing with it and it smelled amazing. And the texture of this, I would describe as being a super, super soft butter slime. It was very creamy, as you can see here. And I just had so much fun playing with this slime. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I finally made peanut butter and jelly slime. <laughs> else to watch I would highly recommend that you watch the video that I've linked over here I know you will love it it's another slime themed video and you should definitely check it out I hope you all enjoyed day one of slime week and I cannot wait to see you back here tomorrow for slime week day two 
I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, bye guys, I love you so much. Mwah!